It seems like you had a pretty good run in Hollywood Week with your Stevie Wonder cover. For once I can touch what my heart used to dream of. And doing No One in, what was it, Three Men and a... Three Men and a Baby. Three Men and a Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew was actually in my group. Yes. Going into group round, I was like... All right, I hear that this is a mess, group round, everything, and me, Andrew, David Duke, and JB were all sitting next to each other, mm -hmm. waiting to choose groups. And so we had all ironically wanted to sing the same song, so we were like, why don't we just become a group? So we became a group, and we were rehearsing until like 3.30 in the morning, and I was like, oh, I need to go to bed. So we went to bed, and we had just had like those simple step touch moves. We didn't right. do anything crazy. Which seems like a good idea, right? Definitely. There were so many groups that you would see that are so caught up in, <laughs> no, we need to spin here and do this. And we're just sitting there going, this is a singing competition. Yeah. So we, we just wanted to do something simple that we could remember. And it worked out for us. You and me together through the days and nights. I don't worry because everything's going to be all right. And obviously you must have gotten along pretty well because we didn't really see much other than the singing. We did, but I actually lost my voice on group day because we had been rehearsing so much and I woke up the next morning and I like couldn't talk and I was like oh no and I was so distraught but I guess adrenaline just helped my voice to kick in which I was happy about. This is a million dollar question for me because I was going to say it you sounded good during the group rounds and we've heard a couple contestants say like oh you know I had laryngitis that week and it's like you don't sound like you have laryngitis so really an adrenaline boost adrenaline can do that too. Adrenaline boost can do that it's amazing because I was going there and I was like okay I'm going to go home because there's no way that I'm singing well yeah. and I sang and that's when Kara gave me the comment, you could be the potential winner. And I was like, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that just To have happened? laryngitis and you weren't doing like a, a front hand flip. Yeah. You know? no, exactly. no major choreography. Exactly. It was crazy. <laughs> just one more performance tonight. And it's coming from 17-year-old Katie Stevens. Your first week in the semifinals, you picked Feeling Good. And I was like, why are you picking Feeling Good when Adam Lambert had like a big old moment with it. Did you fear at all picking that song or did you just say to heck with it, I'm just going to do this anyway? Yeah, I basically said to heck with it, I'm going to do this anyway because it's a new season and you're going to be compared to people no matter what. And so if they were going to compare me to Adam Lambert, they were going to compare <laughs> me to Adam Lambert. Like I didn't, I didn't care. It was a song that I loved and a song that I've sung before. So I wanted to do it. It's a new song. It's a new day. It's a new I didn't even get compared to Adam Lambert by them. I got the whole, you need to be younger. I want to see you play and be current. So then the next week I came in and I tried to be younger. Girl, put so your red 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 on. And they were like, well, we still want you to be younger than that. I want to see you younger somehow. So then I tried doing Breakaway. Breakaway. That didn't work for me at all. It was almost like karaoke to me. I was like, you know what, I'm just going to come into the top 12 and do what feels natural and comfortable to me. And then that's ultimately when I started succeeding.